thought I could get away with not wearing my rain jacket this morning, but then it started actually raining and not just sprinkling a little. So, Ooh, this is cool. Cliffside forest path. Five hundred kilometers. Yeah, it's Hexatrack five hundred, and there's a little scratched in logo in there. Look at it go. Sweet. That's a legit ladder. Switzerland. Look at it go. Excuse me, but what exactly are you doing? What's up, Benny? This cute little shelter. It's nice in here. Also, my one big gripe of the day is this freaking nettle. It's everywhere. It's all over the trail. And I'm just trying not to get freaking stung by it. It's taking way too much energy. It's slowing me down. But I really don't want my legs to be all itchy and on fire. So, it's slow it is. Look at those stairs. No way. stopped me and asked me if I would like a coffee. So I am going to sit and drink a coffee in the shade. And now we're having lunch. So there you go. How cute. Turned into a whole lunch. And then uh, oh, uh, for the for the tea. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I just had the nicest little surprise lunch. It was so cute. 
just walking by this house. Turns out it's like 200 years old. And uh, this man was just lying in his lounge chair in his backyard. But he saw me sort of standing next to the intersection of the trail. And he's like, oh, do you need some like water? Because there's a kind of a water source. But he was like, oh, you know, I need some like clean water. And I was like, no, I'm okay, I have some. He's like, ah, oh, well, do you want a coffee then? I was like, absolutely do I want a coffee. Anyway, and then we're sitting, chatting, all in French, so I'm improving. <laughs> um, having coffee, whatever, and then he's like, oh, well, do you want a beer? And I was like, can't say no to a trail beer. Okay, sure. And then we're sitting there having a beer, and he's like, well, do you need a little bit of, like, charcuterie? I can make you some food, something to eat. And I'm like, no, 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 that's too much, that's too much. He was like, no, this is fun. Like, come on, I'll make you some food. I'm like, okay. So he makes me lunch with like bread and cheese and sausages, pickles, mustard, the whole deal. And then, uh, yeah, we just keep chatting. He tells me that there's like a television news crew coming to see him in like an hour. They're gonna interview him and do a little, I don't know, small kind of media spot about his house because it's historical. Um, but he just spends like a few weeks out of the summer there and uh, has no electricity, like no water, but he has hooked, there's like a source nearby. So he's hooked it up so that like the toilet flushes and things, let me use the bathroom. Anyway, super cute. It was very friendly and he's like, yeah, I get all kinds of hikers through here, but I've never met a Canadian. And I was like, oh, cute. I can be the first one. Um, it was funny because a whole bunch of hikers like passed while I was sitting there and he's just like, well, whatever, you got here first. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just like such a lovely little lunch and exactly why I just love doing these things. You meet such nice people. He was so kind and just like sent me on the road with like a nectarine and some cake. I was like, okay, amazing. Thank you. So, that was very cute. I had a really nice time. Got to practice some French. And he was super patient. And if I didn't understand, he would try to say it a different way. Use small words. Nah, yeah, that was just really nice. I had a good time. And then, <laughs> now I'm like five kilometers from camp. I was gonna be at camp early, but that was way more fun. up with the boys at our campsite and they were both pretty jealous of my little lunchtime adventure but that's what you get for being the slowest one of the group we had a lot of space in this camp so we did some stretching we watched these mountain goats run around in the mountains ate dinner and just generally hung out for the rest of the evening look at how cute the little mountain goats are man i wish i could move that well around the mountains i do not look that graceful not even a little bit It's a resupply day, which means my backpack feels like it weighs nothing <laughs> for now. Um, we're headed to Le Locle, I guess, which is our first town on the Swiss side. Uh, I think it's like maybe eight maybe or 10 kilometers or something. We don't have as many mile markers on that side on our map, so it's just sort of a guess. And we'll resupply there and then do another 10 or 15 to a campground. And we're gonna camp there. We may or may not be in for a surprise, but I can't say for sure yet.
should wear them. Oh, yeah, it's about time you saw us. Jeez. <laughs> I've only been watching you for five minutes. It's been a fun change of pace to have some hiking buddies, especially for the long, boring stretches. It's been fun having people to talk to other than myself. Let's go find our nature house first. The Hexabus has arrived! Woo! <laughs> Kevin and Will, two of the founders of the Hexatrek, joined us at our campsite Aww. in the Hexabus. The Hexabus is a converted van that has been driving around the trail, while Kevin's been driving it around the trail, visiting hikers and bringing them wine and snacks. I'd been plotting with Kevin over Instagram to surprise my two friends with a visit from the Hexabus, and it all worked out as planned. But check out this awesome van conversion. What a fun place to hang out and do a little bit of marketing for the Hexatrek. Well, that was super fun. The Hexabus rolled up, and then we just got to like hang out. They brought wine and cheese and some sausages, and we just all hung out and chatted. And then tomorrow, they're actually going to be in this next spot that we're camping to. So we'll hang out with them one more time. And they're going to take some of our stuff and slack pack us a little bit. So that will be super nice. So it's like... 7.45 in the morning. It should be plenty bright, but the clouds are so dark. I feel like I'm night hiking. Ooh. There is some serious thunder rolling in. Woo. So I believe we have to climb all the way up there. Okay, this is not a trail. <laughs> Maybe it once was a trail many years ago. It's not a trail anymore. Okay, and 900 meters of climbing later, and we're here.
we took a quick little coffee break and ran into Will and Kevin again. Bonjour. <laughs> and then it proceeded to rain for basically the rest of the day. Luckily, the rain cleared up pretty quickly in the evening and the Hexabus was once again at our campsite with our gear because they took our tents and our sleeping bags and some of our heavy stuff so that we could slack pack for the day. Yeah.